Facebook. Yeah. Okay, coming on the summon, got a special video for you guys here today. I checked out a few weeks ago the Vista Viking Festival, one of the biggest Viking festivals this side of the country at least on the west coast. I was not expecting a whole lot to be honest because uh, in California there are just not a whole lot of people with Scandinavian heritage, uh, but I was really really surprised at how well they did this thing and the turnout, so I recommend everybody go to this if they're in the area, and again that is Vista, California. So Vista is just about a half an hour north of San Diego, so about an hour drive away from Los Angeles. We hit a little bit of shitty traffic though, so it took a long time, but eventually we got there. And one really cool thing that I thought about this festival was that you park quite far away from the place and they actually set up shuttle buses to take you there so you actually feel like you're on a nice excursion, an old field trip. And this whole festival is basically run by the uh, Norge Lodge here in Vista, the Sons of Norway Club, and they just did a fantastic job putting all this together. They do it every single year, and I met a few of them. There was not many Norwegians around to speak to. There was one guy who spoke Norwegian, uh, but that's okay. I was happy because these people are doing more to preserve the Norwegian and Scandinavian culture than most Norwegians living in the country. So all the respect to them, and we thank them for putting on this awesome festival. So right when you walk in and really throughout the whole festival you just see all of these stands with historical products, really cool stuff, better than I have seen in most festivals. Also, you know me, I got to go straight to the bar and get crunk, okay? So they have the best selection of meads and beers and ciders. I really had a good time. I mixed a little too much so I got a little hungover, but that's okay. Also, they had a great selection of traditional Norwegian food, everything from the sausages to the desserts, the waffles. For lunch, we got these meatballs with uh, tittebærsaus, as we say in Norway, and it's delicious. Everyone should try some of that uh, if you haven't. Or then one thing I really liked was this ship here. They uh, built it uh, down in San Diego and it's basically a uh, miniature replica of the Gokstad ship and they're actually looking for people to help sail it. They're testing it out here but eventually they're going to take it back to Norway and Sweden and sail it in the open ocean. Then here we have a tent with some furniture and everything here is based off of the archaeological finds from the Usabed ship, one of the greatest, most extravagant uh, archaeological finds made in Norway who they believe to be a uh, couple of witches or royalty. I've done many videos about this on my channel. There is also music. There are two stages here playing different types of music. Eh, most of it was a bit redneckish with some bluegrass and banjos and all that stuff that I don't like, but they did have some traditional medieval instruments too. I would have liked to see some more drums and horns and the tagilhaipa and those types of things, but hey, we can't all be Vodruna. Then on to my favorite part, the competitions that they had at this festival. This first one here is a log throw. This thing was really heavy actually, I thought I could throw it to the fence at least. Let me tell you something, I have never lost a competition where I throw something. Shot put, log throw, everything, and I uh, actually didn't win this one, okay? I got second because of this beast of a man. Oh, look at that throw. So yeah, I didn't win, but it came close, but more importantly, look at these next games here. Now, I know you guys have seen these axe-throwing places that come up everywhere. Maybe even you've been to an event and they do some bow shooting, but look at this. Spear throwing. Spear throwing is basically summarizing up the competitions of the Viking Age. It was the things we have most records of are spear throwing, swimming, maybe wrestling. But those were the three sports most played by the Vikings and it's so rare that you see some spear throwing competitions. So I really like this thing. So happy that they did this. So that's about it guys, uh, it's a two day festival, I recommend everybody check it out if you're in the area, like I said, Vista, California, every year in about mid-September time. So hope you enjoyed this and inspired you to go to some festivals of your own, let us know in the comments, do you have any coming up, any you recommend, we would all love to know. Have you